Hello, you're here for one more lesson of this Axis VM training course. The topic for today will be the steel design, lesson two. Um, this lesson specifically to uh, make a little more detail about two important features of this steel design. Uh, first one inside um, uh, the design parameters where we've seen about these uh, fire coefficients in buckling. Uh, this is a very specific uh, module, this is a SD8 module uh, and uh, inside we can define and assign uh, these uh, parameters, design parameters to the members we've choose. Um, we have uh, the possibility to define it or not. Uh, it is uh, important to notice that we have, if we have the flexural buckling, uh, we can we can activate or not this function. But um, if uh, we define it, we can uh, make a definition of a different buckling lengths or uh, buckling length coefficients for uh, the resistance in uh, these two different axes in terms of fire. Um, if we have this on, the buckling resistance calculation and verification, it is performed on both normal, normal and elevated temperature. So there are some particularities which uh, should, should, not should, can be taken uh, into account. Okay. Um, this is one thing. Uh, go back because I don't want to do, to do it. The other thing that we did not check it is uh, the bolted joints, which uh, in the last uh, video uh, we had uh, we, we didn't had a structure uh, prepared to show you uh, the the visual appearance of uh, the dialog box and so on. So, uh, in this particular one, we have this prepared. So, um, we can um, have this possibility. This is uh, built in the, the basic package of Axis VM. And in here, we can calculate uh, the moment curvature diagram uh, for these uh, voltage joints. So, I've, I've chosen one element and a node so and we have this kind of information that we can change okay uh, and plate the bolts and the results uh, which are calculated okay a couple of errors probably not everything perfectly defined but okay and we can have this done for example let us try to do it again I'm not sure what was the error, but I can see. Okay, uh, design moment exceeds uh, resistance, so probably we need to change uh, what we have around here. Um, and probably I will continue to have the same error. But the idea here it is to show you uh, about uh, one possibility, which I think it is uh, interesting to see. Uh, there are some assumptions to be taken care of uh, when we are um, uh, working with this uh, bolted joint design of steel beams. Uh, I will not explain them here. Uh, again, uh, I will invite you to check our um, theoretical side because all of these details are uh, described there. But at least I think uh, you'll have uh, a first impression of, uh, of this type of, uh, of dialog box and what we can get around here. For example, let me try to, to choose another one. As I think, let, let us try to choose these two guys. Uh, I forgot, sorry, I forgot to this and I hope. Um, okay, it cannot handle as a beam. Let's make one more try. Uh, maybe we have uh, luck. Let's try to. Oh, not also not this one. 
okay it doesn't matter uh, at least uh, you you are able to check uh, the principle of that dialog box um, any uh, particular help or clarification about this topic let us know we are here to to give you all the necessary support